Hey guys, welcome back to another Discord just tutorial. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a mod log channel. So we're gonna use uh, MongoDB. If you don't know what MongoDB is, you should see a card pop up right there. Um, you can just click on that to set it up real quick. Iron that. Let's get right into it. All right. To start off, we're just gonna create a new uh schema. So we can just do this by creating a new file in models. Um, we're gonna. I'm just gonna name this mm, mod logs. You can name it whatever you want and then we're just going to require we're going to take in schema and also a uh, model from mongoose okay and then we're just going to do module exports it was model and then i'm going to name this um mod locks comma new schema okay and then in here we're just going to take in the guild just a string and then channel which is also a string all right so that's done um we're gonna move on to the set mod logs channel command so i'm just gonna move on into commands gonna move on into utils just gonna make a mod logs.js i can just do something like set something like this okay you can name it whatever you want just gonna do djs again to initialize on the code just zoom in so you guys can see a little better all right so just set a mod set logs or do so you can do something like that all right so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna check permissions you can do that by doing if message dot member dot permissions dot has uh we're gonna check if it has administrator um and then we're gonna return if it doesn't have administrator permissions Next, uh, we're gonna define a channel. So, cons channel equals message dot mentions the channels dot first, or it's gonna be message dot channel. So, if the person mentions a channel, it's gonna set to that channel, or else it's just gonna set to the current channel, right? And then next, uh, we're gonna require the model that we just created. Con schema. Go require dollar slash dollar slash uh, models slash mod locks okay and then uh we can just go in here we can do uh schema dot find one guild message dot guild id async error data if there is data uh data dot delete if there is data we're just gonna delete data and then we're just gonna create a new data by doing new schema guild Message dot guild the ID comma uh channel will be uh channel ID. That's all and then uh just make sure to add a dot save after you created the new schema to save the data. Alright, and then lastly we can just do message dot channel dot send um channel has been saved as the mod logs channel. So this is the set mod logs channel. Um, this is the schema. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the um, embed structure. So we're just gonna go into our main file, which is index.js, and then uh, we're gonna scroll down, ignore this music stuff. I'm um, just gonna do it right above over here. Okay, so we can do this by uh, doing client. We're just gonna assign a function. Let me just do it right here so it looks. Uh, it's looks a little better so we can just do client dot mod logs okay we're just gonna assign a function to this uh, client object so equals to uh, function and then we're gonna pass in client we're gonna take in client uh, what a member okay and then we're gonna take in the action and then lastly will be color so this is the member object we're gonna take in the member object and we're gonna take in the action. Uh, for example, it's either ban, mute, kick, whatever it is. And lastly, color, which is the embed color. And then lastly, uh, we're just gonna take one more, which is the reason. Okay. So um. Okay, so we can just do this. Yep. And then uh, we're just gonna do. We're gonna require. It. Oh yeah, we need the mongoose. Uh, we can just require this by doing a const uh, mod logs schema 
or whatever you want to call it equals require dot slash and then I think models yeah and then um mod logs all right oh we also need one more parameter which is the message so let me just pass in message like that all right so uh we can do um if there is or we can just do uh cons data equals await mod logs schema dot find one and then we're just gonna pass in the guild which is the message dot guild by id okay so if there's no data we're just gonna do return okay if there's data so we can now construct our embed so if you don't haven't uh required uh the message embed make sure you do that so just do message embed Okay, so cons message embed equals require discord js. So in here, uh, we're just gonna do um, cons channel equals await message. Actually, we don't need await. We can just do message dot guild channels dot catch dot get, and then we're gonna get the data dot channel. Okay, so this is the channel that we're gonna send to, and then next in here, uh, we're gonna pass. We're gonna create a embed so cons uh, mod we can do something like logs embed equals to um, new message embed okay so you can style this however you want I'm just gonna start it really simple so uh, I can just do this by doing set um, color okay and then we're gonna pass in the color let me see uh, did I define it as color Yep. Okay. So set color, color, and then uh we can do set description, and then um reason, and we can just pass in reason in here, or we'll, we're just gonna say there is new reason. Okay, and then we can just set uh add field. Okay, and then we're just gonna say member. And then uh, this is going to be the member that is uh, being punished. So we can just do this by doing member. Um, what am I even doing? Just going to use a template control. And then we're just going to do member.user.tag, comma. Or we can just do bracket. And then we can just pass in the member.id. Member.id, as I said, uh, you can do this however you want. This is just an example. Okay, and then um, I'm going to set the title, title, uh, punishment, I mean uh, action took, uh, will be the action. Okay, let me just change this real quick. Alright, so action took will be action. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we already use all of these. Next, uh, we're just going to do channel send uh, logs embed okay so until this point it's pretty simple so to use this mod logs uh, system it's really simple so let me just show you guys real quick so uh, to do this we're actually going to use a uh, moderation so um, I'm going to use this ban command but I'm just going to remove this ban thing because it isn't needed so if you have your ban command, make sure not to remove this because it actually needs to ban um, the member. But for now, I'm not going to ban my member. That's why um, I'm just going to remove this. All right. Okay. So to use this, you just simply need to do client dot um, client dot mod logs. Okay. So it's a function, and then you're going to pass in a object. Um, as you can see, your member action color reason. So uh, member. You can just pass in it as member. So member, the current member is member. So you can just do member like this. Next, uh, it will be action. So action will be a band. Make sure to put it in a string, comma. Uh, next, uh, will be color. Color. I want it to be red. So I can just do something like red. Lastly, it will be the reason. So reason. Okay, and then uh, we're going to pass in reason, which is reason right over here, as you can see here, reason. So um, once that's done, after, make sure to add a comma after the object and then just pass in message. So uh, it will identify the guild. 
So let's just start this up and let's just see if it works. Okay, so um I need to make this async async. Alright, so async over here and then uh what it, when is the command um yeah all right so let's just test this out again all right so um we're just gonna test this out i'm just gonna run the command y ban um let me just ban zex test uh either same bro so i need to uh assign a higher role for myself to ban zex okay um it's messing up wait give me a sec let me just copy the id because i think mentions doesn't work right now let me just use the id real quick Please mention a member to ban. So uh, let's just see where I messed up. Message the mentions to member stuff first. Let me just do something like message the guild the members catch that get arcs zero. Okay, so let's just modify that real quick. Uh, just ignore this. Uh, it should work in your code. I just messed the mo node modules before recording this video. That's why this is happening. So just um, add this at your ban command and then your, your mod log should be working. For now, if I ban, nothing's going to happen because I didn't set the mod log channel. So let me just set the mod logs channel real quick. We can do this by doing uh, set logs. So why set logs? And I'm going to mention mod logs. Okay, mod logs has been saved as the mod logs channel. So if I do this and I try to ban again same role okay so um i'm just gonna move the roles real quick uh okay let me just move it up here okay uh we can now do this we can just try this again it wouldn't ban because i already removed this ban thing over here wait where is it okay i already removed this ban over here so if you're actually using the bot make sure not to remove this uh, keep it in here just for testing purposes. I don't want to re-invite my bot again several times So I'm just gonna remove this ban. So as you can see here, uh, it's a ban zex for test So if I go in here, I'm gonna say uh, action took ban reason test member zex and then this is the thing over here Okay, um You can actually add the picture uh, the profile picture or whatever you call it so I'm just gonna do that and just show you an example on how you can customize your um customize your mod log. So you can just do set thumbnail member dot uh user dot display avatar URL. I'm pretty sure. Okay, we're not gonna use dynamic. So member dot user display avatar URL. So let's just restart this bot. Okay, and then uh, when I reban the um, the bot Zex over here, and then uh, it should uh, show the picture. So yeah, as you see, there's a thumbnail right now. So this color red is coming from the ban command. So if you change this to blue, um, it's gonna go to it's gonna change the mod logs color to blue. So you can do this individually. So you can change for like a mute command. You can just change this to mute. And then you can change the color something like yellow or you want so uh, you can do this just make sure to add this function in your moderation commands and you should be good to go if you have any questions or any uh further inquiries feel free to join the support server links will be in the description if you want to watch more discord js tutorials stay tuned until the end you should see a playlist that you can click on other than that have a nice day see you in the next video bye I'm